It's sometimes useful to be able to see at a glance how your learners are progressing. The Teaching with Moodle course does this by asking you to check a radio button against how you feel you're doing in the course. Moodle has an activity called Choice, which allows teachers to set up a voting option with radio buttons and a learner chooses a particular option. It doesn't only have to be how well you feel you're progressing. For example, in this choice on a climbing course, the participants are asked to select which climb they would like to do next time round. As a teacher, you can always see the responses because you have a view responses link to take you into the reports. So let's go into our course and set up a choice. To do this, we need to click the Turn Editing On button top right or scroll down and click the link in the administration block. And then in the section where we'd like to add our choice voting activity, we click the link Add an activity or resource. Choice is an activity because students are interacting with Moodle. And when we click the button once, we see that there are various examples of how you could use the choice activity with a link to more help. It's a very versatile module. When we click the Add button to add it, the first thing we will do is give it a name which will identify it on the course page for our learners. And we can give a description if we wish. And we can check the box to display the description on the course page. If we're only going to have a few options which will show as radio buttons, we can display them horizontally. If we think we're going to need a lot, then we can choose to display them vertically instead. If we allow the choice to be updated, a learner can change their mind. They can only ever vote for one item, but they can change their mind. This might be useful if, for example, they might not be too sure of their progress on Monday, but they might feel much more confident on Wednesday. If we limit the number of responses allowed, then only a certain number may choose each option. This might be useful if you want to put students into groups, for example, or if you want to give them all a chocolate bar and you only have 10 of one particular type of chocolate bar. We then type the options which we want to see against the radio buttons in each of these boxes. If we need more, we can click the button to add more. Now, there are other settings which might be useful to explore at a later date. For example, availability, if you want to set a time limit to your voting, and results, if you want to decide whether or not you want your learners to see each other's choices, and if you do, whether or not you want them to see the names of the students you've chosen or not. You might also want to select to show a column for unanswered. This means then that you can see at a glance who hasn't done this task because they will be in a column of their own. Then we just need to scroll down and click save and return to course. And we have set up a voting activity, a choice activity for our learners. And you see that it has its own icon. With this theme, it's a question mark so that the learners can see immediately what type of activity they're about to do.